Here goes. My ex-wife still misses me, but her aim is getting better. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the scenes where TV's best cartoon characters went from A tier to S tier. Just before we get started, beware of some spoilers ahead. Question one. What? It's my daddy! God. How did you first get into bank robbing? Number 10. Della Duck's Return. DuckTales. Sup, party people? I'm back in the his Oh, no. Knew it was wrong as soon as I said it. Sorry, that was terrible. Can I get a do-over? While we considered giving this moment to Louie's Eleven and all the scheming our favorite triplet put into the plan, Della's grand return rehearsal will never not make us laugh and also tear up. Okay, first impression is the only impression. You gotta nail this. Greetings, children. <laughs> Hello! Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Mm. Just a few episodes before, we saw her crash landing and her decade-long journey to get off the moon. From amputating her own leg to her unwavering determination to get back to her kids, we fell in love with Della's tenacity and exuberant personality right from the get-go. After all she'd been through, watching her be so nervous to finally meet her kids and just wanting the perfect introduction was what really sealed the deal for us. Simple, sincere. It's just the most important moment of your life. Number 9. When Brett Took Young Reagan to Homecoming – Inside Job We loved Brett a whole three seconds into meeting him. Brett! You can take that silly thing off now that we've microchipped you. Brett Hand, thrilled to be serving whoever gives me approval. It's difficult not to, after all, with the man's blind enthusiasm and unwavering optimism. There are a surprising number of friendship moments Brett and Reagan share for being employed at the shadow government, but this one is particularly touching. I'm not leaving. Reagan forever, ride or die! When Reagan and her dad entered her mind to find a lost access key she couldn't remember, Brett followed suit and accidentally fell into one of her childhood memories. In the most Brett move ever, he took it upon himself to cheer up young Reagan. Too bad no one will go with me. Um, I know I probably shouldn't interact with your memories. My what now? But I could take you to the dance. Hey, good thing I always keep a bow tie on hand for dance emergencies. His actions ended up altering the memory, too. So in Reagan's mind, it was like Brett had been there for her long before they formally met each other. So we're good? I remember what you did for me at homecoming. We've been good for 18 years. Yes, Reagan forever. Number 8. When Garnet Came Back Stronger Than Ever, Steven Universe The moment we found out Garnet was a fusion, she immediately leveled up as a character. <laughs> Thank you! Garnet! You're a fusion? Like, she was super cool and totally wise before, but now we knew she was also a product of love between two gems, and that just made her extra special. After being poofed in the previous episode, which was a whole traumatic watching experience, we weren't sure what to make of things when Jailbreak came out. As we know, gems always get an upgrade after they poof, and that was certainly true for Garnet when Ruby and Sapphire reunited aboard Jasper's ship. Garnet was more than ready for a rematch, and the accompanying song made the whole thing that much more epic. Let's go, just one on two. Go ahead and try and hit me if you're able. Can't you see that my relationship is stable? I can see you hate the way we intermingle. But I think you're just mad cause you're single. Number 7. When Bandit Puts the Kids First, Bluey. If I've ever hurt your feelings, I'm really sorry, mate. Must feel really bad when your dad does that. Just know that I love you, kid. And I'd do anything for you. There's so much to love about Bandit, including his relentless commitment to the bit. He knows how important play is for kids, or maybe just for his own inner child. And we love seeing him prioritize it. More than that, though, he always does his best to put Bluey and Bingo first, even when it means embarrassing himself. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing this for my kid. Of all the moments he's gone out of his way to be a good dad, his trajectory in Takeaway stands out. Ooh, can I have a shower under that tap? No wet dogs in car. Aww. He didn't have to give in to the kids. After all, he had a right to not want a mess in his car, but something in us healed when he did. Flowers may bloom again, but a person never has a chance to be young again. What does that mean? 
It means... It's shower time! Number six. When Dr. Doofenshmirtz was the parent he never had, Phineas and Ferb. He may have committed his life to evil, but make no mistake, Doofenshmirtz is a dad first and foremost. This will be the grand finale of Vanessa's party, the world's largest firecracker! All we need now is a victim to be tied to the rocket so they'll explode up in the sky in a grand display. Knowing his own heartbreaking family life, Doof's efforts to be a good father to Vanessa really takes his character up a notch. One of the first times we saw this was early on in the original run of the series, when he planned Vanessa's 16th birthday party. Could you maybe help me set up the party for my little girl? Please? Although he'd not had much success the 15 years prior, he never stopped trying. And that's the mark of a good parent. And if that wasn't enough, with some help from Perry the Platypus, the episode concludes with him finally getting his daughter's birthday right. Wow! Whoa, this is like the coolest looking party ever. Hey, Vanessa, did you do all this yourself? Well, actually, my dad put it together. Number 5. Hunter in Hollow Mind, The Owl House It's always the trauma survivors who become our favorites. We're not sure what that says about us, but best not to unpack that right now. The Golden Guard was introduced slowly, and even before his face reveal, we loved every interaction with him. Okay, how do I land this thing? Hmm. Oh, you just pull that cord above your head. Oh, thank you. Yeah? Seeds of doubt were planted leading up to Hollow Mind, but it wouldn't be until the fateful episode that Hunter learned exactly the kind of person his uncle was, not to mention some important new information about himself, too. What did you do to the other guards? To our family? It wasn't wild magic, was it? What a shame. Out of all the Grimwalkers, you looked the most like him. He didn't deserve any of it, and seeing him unravel the way he did made us feel so deeply for him. He knows we were in there. I can't... I can't go back! <laughs> From then on, he became one of the most important characters in the show, and a certified protect-at-all-costs favorite in the fandom. Number 4. When We Found Out About Marceline's Past, Adventure Time Marceline was goaded right from the beginning, but this extra dimension to her character arc really made her a standout. Although she looked like she had it all figured out, several episodes detailing her past revealed how she got to that point. Marceline has been through some junk, and by that we of course mean the literal apocalypse. You're not going to put it on, are you? I have to, to protect us. But you're gonna act weird again. Don't worry, I can control it better now. Mm. It's okay. BRB. Seeing her as just a small child in the chaos and ruin of the Mushroom War really tugs at the heartstrings. More than that, though, her shared backstory with Simon lived on in her after the latter lost his mind. Duh, you don't remember anything, do you, Simon? What, man? Why do you even come see me when you don't remember me? You don't even know who you are! She was the sole keeper of those war-tinged memories which always made things more difficult when the Ice King came around. Please forgive me for whatever I do when I don't remember you. Wow! I wrote that? Hot stuff! What? You don't remember what it means? Number 3. Louise on the phone. You know the scene. Bob's Burgers. Question 1. It's my daddy! Good. How did you first get into bank robbing? She's hysterical, for one, and the creators did the best job contrasting her personality with her appearance and voice. Every character in this show is so uniquely their own, and there are a lot of quote-worthy moments. With that said, this short but brilliantly executed scene sums up Louise perfectly, and quickly elevated her to the highest ranking tier. You want to talk to your daddy? No, I want to talk to you. You've been selected as the subject of my important person school essay. Shut up. <laughs> oh, don't tell me to shut up! When her dad became a criminal's hostage, Louise decided she'd found the perfect person to write her essay about. Sergeant Bosco's first mistake was thinking he'd win any sort of altercation against her. All right, kiddo, we've had our fun now. Hand it's over my the. Daddy! Yeah! My hey, daddy's hey. in there! So, just a couple more questions. I know you're busy. Give me the phone. Give, give me that no, phone back. Give it to me. You're being <laughs> so rude right now. Number two, when Stan admitted he knew more than he was letting on and was a total badass, Gravity Falls. Season 2 of Gravity Falls opened with a bang. At this point, we were starting to get pretty suspicious of Grunkle Stan. There was this whole lab in his basement, he got his hands on all three journals, and was planning something important enough to wear pants for. 30 long years and it's all led up to this. 
my greatest achievement. Probably should have worn pants. To make matters worse, government officials started snooping around the mystery shack. It was only when Dipper managed to raise the dead that we saw a side of Stan we never had before. You two, attic, now! But, but, Uncle Stan? I said now! Despite having dismissed his great nephew's insistence all summer that something weird was going on in the town, Stan could no longer keep up the act in front of the kids. Well, at least you can't deny magic exists anymore, right? Kid I've always known. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm not an idiot, Dipper. Of course this town is weird. And the one thing I know about that weirdness is that it's dangerous. <laughs> he gained major cool points this episode and also became a bigger player in the whole mystery game of chess. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Anytime Miss Grotke taught her fourth grade class something way too real, Recess. And these are all the little ozone molecules being eaten up by fluorocarbons produced by evil industrialists. When Eclipsa made the hard choice. Star versus the forces of evil. <laughs> that time we got to meet the different parts of Raven's personality. Teen Titans. I'm Raven! <gasps> Happy? Timid, brave. You forgot Dopey. <laughs> when Entrapta was being Entrapta, She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. ha -da! I made you soup. Soup always makes me feel better. <clears throat> when Luca understood the importance of keeping secrets, miraculous tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. I can't stay in Paris. I'd be a threat to everyone I love here because... I know the secret identities of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. When Zuko turned over a new leaf. A tea leaf, if you will. Avatar The Last Airbender. You can't sacrifice an entire division like that! Those soldiers love and defend our nation. How can you betray them? Finding out about Zuko's tragedy and how he got his scar was enough to make him an antagonist worth rooting for. He was led down a wrong path. But in season two, we finally got to see who he could be without the negative influence of his father. You deserve it. The Jasmine Dragon will be the best tea shop in the city. No, I'm thankful because you decided to share this special day with me. It means more than you know. Of course, he would unfortunately double back later on. But for the first time, we saw Zuko find a little bit of peace. He looked, dare we say it, happy. It's a new day. We've got a new apartment, new furniture, and today's the grand opening of your new tea shop. Things are looking up, uncle. There are plenty of moments from the future Fire Lord that made us love him, but becoming Lee was Zuko's first big step in the right direction. Hi, Lee. My name's Jin. Thank you, and, well... I was wondering if you would like to go out sometime. He'd love to. Who's your cartoon comfort character? Let us know in the comments. Bye! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.